Hi there, today we are going to explore how to restore permanently deleted files using Google Vault. So to start, we're going to be in the Google Vault home screen. If you're not familiar with how to get there, you can actually get there from the Google Apps Launcher. Should look like this, the icon. And you'll see this if you're an admin that has access to Vault. Uh, and you also, that is predicated upon the fact that your current licensing includes Vault. So for Google Workspace, that is going to be Business Plus, Enterprise Standard, and Enterprise Plus. So there are some things that you can do with retention rules, creating those, setting those up. However, for today, we are gonna focus on matters and creating a hold. A hold is just a little bit more strict, a little bit more stringent, and a little bit more strong when it comes to uh, being able to recover and restore data. And so uh, it's very easy to create a matter. Um, so you can easily create one. I've actually already created one and all that includes is a name and a brief description. Within the matter, we can then go over to holds and create a new hold. So this hold is going to be for the sales team uh, hold. So we want to hold all documents uh, in the sales team drive. Uh, you can also save or put a hold on, I should say, uh, Gmail groups, as well as chat, which can be very valuable. However, we are going to focus on Drive for the sake of this demonstration here. Now you can create an organizational unit. So if in the admin console, you already have an organizational unit, maybe this is research and development, maybe this is sales, maybe this is the executive OU, uh, you can select that and it's gonna put that blanket across all of the individual accounts. However, for the sake of this demo, we're just gonna focus on some specific accounts. We have a pretty small sales team. Uh, it is just myself and Greg that are on our sales team. And we wanna make sure to include items in the shared drive. So now anything that is created or owned by myself or by Drake, uh, that is in our shared drives as well, is going to have a hold on it as soon as we create it. Uh, and now we are good to go. That hold is in place, as simple as that. And so we can check to make sure that that's there. And before we do that, let me actually bounce back here and show you our sales drive. So this is the document that we want to make sure we never lose, uh, but accidentally, I sent that to trash. Now you can see within 30 days, the easiest way to restore anything is going to be uh, simply restoring it. So uh, it holds it for 30 days, 25 to be safe. You wanna to get to it um, and you can just restore that. You can also do that through your admin console as a Google admin. However, this has now been deleted forever. So it is no longer in our drive. When we realize this, we're so scared because we realize that our jobs are jeopardized. So we reach out to you, the Google admin, uh, and ask for your help. And so you go ahead and do this. We're going to search for items in the drive. We're gonna search for held data for specific accounts. And those specific accounts, as we recall, we knew that this was something that was owned by the sales team. The sales team only has two folks on it. So we're gonna look up those, include items from the shared drive, and we know for a fact that it was modified today. However, we can have a, a wider range of uh, dates. We can also drill down and get very granular as it relates to type, the owner, all of that good stuff, as well as the version, the version date here. Uh, so you can get more granular, but for the sake of this, we're just gonna move forward. We're gonna start with the search just to see what comes up before we export. That way we can confirm that the information is there. And there it is, we can actually preview it here. So uh, for e-discovery, this is really helpful. Maybe you don't even need to fully export. You can just search it up and pull it up. However, we wanna restore this. So we're gonna go ahead and export that. And we're gonna call this test export one. And uh, again, you can set your data region for where this export is going to go and be held. I don't have a preference just because I know that with no preference, that data is going to be shared across the data centers in the US as well as Europe, uh, which I think is like 18 different data centers, 16, 17, 18 different data centers 
Um, and it's stored randomly. So Google doesn't even know uh, where all of it is until you recall it. Uh, so that, that gives me uh, sound enough mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and export that. And from here, now we can see that export and the progress by navigating to exports. Now it will take a moment, so please bear with me just because it does have a couple of different items that it is pulling from that export. Now I will mention this can take some time. We have four documents that we're pulling from. Often these exports will include a lot larger sample size unless you can drill down very specifically. So if you're pulling all the documents from, you know, a, a week of you know, maybe as a disgruntled employee that deleted a whole bunch of their files and you need to go back and pull all of those. Uh, that could take some time. This should take just a couple of moments. You will see this export is going to be held for 15 days. You'll still be able to search up and find these. You'll just have to run a new export um, after that 15 days. So we're gonna go ahead and now download this. And specifically, we want to download the zip. So we can look at the metadata, we can look at some other things here, but we're gonna focus on the zip because that's where the actual files are. And that is currently downloading. And we're gonna go ahead and launch it. So here we go. Within that folder, we now have the confidential top secret document and we can navigate over to the sales team and simply drop that back in. And now the confidential top secret document is back in the sales drive right where we wanted it, just as we had hoped. So now everything is right as rain, the sales team is happy, IT is happy, uh, and all it took was a couple of minutes going through Google Vault to restore that document. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to helping you next time.